Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these DIY Harry Potter inspired canvas arts. They're really easy as all my DIYs are, otherwise I wouldn't be able to make them. They look really cool and I think they turned out a lot better than I expected them to. I've used a picture of Dobby, a picture of the Stag Patronus and a picture of the Golden Snitch but you can use whatever pictures you want. You don't need to be Harry Potter themed, you can do whatever you like. It's just a really cool way to make canvas art and yeah they look really cool so let's get going. The first thing you're going to need to do is print out whatever pictures you want to use. Silhouettes are easiest and this one is obviously quite fiddly so the easier you want it to be kind of the more block picture you want it to be but this one looks really cool so I just went with it. So as you can probably tell by now you just want to use an exacto knife to cut out your picture. You want to try and keep the picture and the background as neat as possible so you can choose which one you want to use. I chose to use the inside of the Patronus and of the Snitch and the outside of Dobby to show you that you can just use either one. So I've chosen to use some neon coloured paint, to use whatever colours you like and fill up a spray bottle about halfway of paint and then the other half of water and then give it a really good shake to mix it together. Then you want to use some blue tack to stick your design down onto your canvas. Make sure you particularly put the blue tack into the fiddly little detail bits to make sure that the paint doesn't go underneath them. Here I'm really making sure that I push it down just because I don't want the paint to escape and go where I don't want it to be. Then from a distance you just want to start spraying your paint onto your canvas however you like, as much as you want, as little as you want. You want to try and make sure there's enough to show the design but apart from that it is up to you. Just a side note, I got paint everywhere doing this so maybe do it outside in hindsight. So you just repeat the same thing for whatever design you want to do and whatever colours, just again making sure that you cover it enough that the design will stand out. And now it's time for the reveal. I'm really sorry about the lighting here, I didn't realise how bad it was at the time. I'm really happy with how this first one turned out, it's exactly how I wanted it to look and I'm really happy. The second one didn't go quite so well, it might have made a difference if I hadn't printed it in black but it's easy to fix, the inks run through onto the canvas. On the last one I should have covered all the canvas because outside of the template the spray paint has gone onto the edge. It took me about 10 minutes to fix all the mistakes all together just using some other craft supplies that I already had. I just used some sparkly washi tape to fix my Dobby picture, just going over where the paint had spilled. There's my own Dobby in the background trying to put his nose into the picture. I used some white paint on the Patronus picture to go over where the ink had run through and I didn't actually have to do anything on the Snitch picture because it came out really well. So there you go guys, another DIY over. Really really easy to do, it looks really cool. Probably one of the quickest ones I've done and yeah I think it looks really really good. I can't wait to find someone to put them up on my wall. If you enjoyed this please like, comment and subscribe. If you have a go I would love to see how they turn out. My Twitter link will be down below as will my Pinterest link if you want to see any of the other templates that I've made. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed, have a lovely day and I will see you later.